Take a moment to think back on the many textbooks you have used throughout your education. Those textbooks are designed to present facts and information. If you observed, textbooks contain graphics. These graphics are included to broaden understanding so students must know how to read and interpret them as they are essential aspects of understanding the material. This is our milk number 6. The domain is reading comprehension. The learning competencies are transcode information from linear to nonlinear texts and vice versa. Explain visual verbal relationships illustrated in tables, graphs, and information maps found in expository texts. The number of days taught is 7. This lesson deals with understanding visual elements accompanying texts in order to improve comprehension, especially when dealing with informative materials. Expository texts are designed to explain, inform, and present facts on specific topic. These texts can be accompanied by visual cues to provide or further highlight information. The concept of visual verbal symbiosis is written in the idea that visuals support verbals and vice versa. There is a symbiotic relationship between verbal and visual literacies when the two are combined to facilitate student achievement. Expository texts frequently use graphics to present facts and information. These graphics are images or visual representations of an object. It may include tables, graphs, maps, illustrations, and others. Graphs show the relation between variable quantities, typically of two variables, each measured along a pair of axes at right angle. It can also be defined as a pictorial representation or diagram that represents data or values in an organized manner. The most common examples of graph are bar graph, line graph, pictograph, and pie graph or pie chart. Bar graph is a graph with rectangular bars which shows numbers that are independent of each other. It is also useful for looking at a set of data and making comparisons. Take a look at the examples. Bar graph can be vertical or horizontal, and in analyzing bar graph, you have to look at the title or what is it all about, the labels, and the legend. Let us have this. Study the bar graph. It's about how students of Tanzan National Trade School get to school. Be observant of the labels and legend and prepare to answer questions later. How many students ride their bicycle in going to school? The answer is 30. 30 students ride their bicycle in going to school. How many students choose to ride in a tricycle than a jeepney in going to school?
the answer is 12. 12 more students ride a tricycle compared to a jeepney. What we did here is 35 minus 23. How do most of the students get to school? The answer is by walking. Majority of the students walk in going to school. Let's proceed now with line graph. Line graph is mostly used to show how numbers have changed over time. It usually has continuous data along a vertical and horizontal dimensions. The y-axis usually shows the value of whatever variable being measured, while the x-axis presents when it was measured, either chronologically or based on other independent variables. These are the examples. In analyzing a line graph, be observant with a title, the labels, the horizontal and vertical scales, the points or x and y axis, and the line segment. Study the line graph. It's about the total number of students who choose to ride in a jeepney in going to school. And be ready to answer the questions later. What is the difference between the highest and the lowest total number of students who ride in a jeepney? The answer is 25. The highest total number is 40 minus lowest total number which is 15. What is the total number of students who ride a jeepney on the fifth day? The answer is 32. There are 32 students who ride a jeepney on Friday. Let us have now the pictograph. Pictograph is like a bar graph that uses pictures to represent a particular number of items. Can be useful when you want to display data in a highly visual presentation such as infographic. Look at the examples. Study the given pictograph about number of glasses of milk a child drinks as ages and answer the questions later. How many glasses of milk does a 12 years old drink? The answer is 6 because 12 years old belongs to the age group of 11 to 13 years old. What age group drinks the most glasses of milk? The question here focus on the age group, therefore the answer is 3 to 6 years old. Let's proceed now with a pie graph. 
are also known as pie chart. Pie graph shows you how a whole is divided into three different parts. It also displays data in a circular graph and the pieces of the graph are proportional to the fraction of the whole in each category. Observe the examples. Let's analyze the sample pie graph about a student's daily activity and answer the questions later. Which activity does a student spend most of his time? The student spent most of his time in sleeping the 37.5%. How many percent does a student spend in social media? The student spends 16.7% in social media. Which activity has the least percentage in a student's daily routine? The activity with the least percentage in a student's daily routine is eating with 4.2%. Let's proceed now with tables. A table is also known as matrix which refers to an orderly arranged quantitative data in columns and rows. The columns and rows are sometimes labeled or unlabeled. Take a look at these examples. Observe the given data in the table. It is about the recent presidents of the Philippines and prepare to answer the questions. Of these presidents, who was the youngest at the start of his presidency? Benigno Simeon C. Aquino III is the youngest president at the start of his presidency at the age of 50. Which political party had older president? The political party with older president is Partido Democratico Pilipino, Lakas Tangbayan, or the PDP Laban with President Rodrigo Duterte. How many different political parties did these presidents represent? There are four different political parties that the presidents represent. Let us have now the maps. A map refers to collection of data showing the spatial arrangement or distribution over an area. Observe these examples. Study this community map and later you have to tell the location of the given buildings. From your house, where is the location of the hospital? In this question, your answer may vary depends on what preposition or adverb of place you will use. 
What building is nearest to the school? The building nearest to the school can be your house, the library, and the hospital. Let's proceed now with captioned graphics. Provide a title, short explanation, or description accompanying an illustration, or a photograph. Take a look at the example. The title is Duck, Cover, and Hold. The short explanation is Students duck and cover their head as the entire class hears the alarm that signals the simulated earthquake with a photograph of the students doing the said activity. The last one is the flowcharts. Show the sequence of movements or actions of people or things involved in a complex system or activity. Observe the examples. The first one is the steps of the scientific method and the other one is the organizational flowchart.